Hello everyone in Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Richard. And I'm Jennifer. And this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. This week we have several tips on how to baby-proof your house. And before we get with the video, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment at the end if you enjoy the video. And for those of you who haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button as well. Now on to the video. For this particular tip, uh, we use a uh, cube organizer as a kind of a TV entertainment center. And uh, we're going to convert this as a storage for toys for our granddaughter so she has something to do when she comes over. Unfortunately, a lot of the cube organizers do not have a backing on this. And, and so all the cables in the back are now exposed and uh, potentially are a risk. So we need to fix that. And this is how we're going to do it. Another way we're going to baby proof our house is to place these outlet plugs in the electrical sockets. It's just that simple. If it's just the two of us, we didn't mind having these cables around here. It's not that big of a deal. However, with a little one, there's always a possibility, an innocent pull, and it might yank out the, the, the laptop and slam it on the ground. So what we're going to have here is for some cable maintenance, we use this. Um, this is a unique uh, product. It actually just wraps around coils and holds them tight. So um, unlike most things like conduit, conduit is a specific size. You can get something that might be too wide or too narrow, and uh, you have to get a, a adjusted if you use more cables. With this one here, it doesn't matter how big the item is, you just keep wrapping around it and just continue on so that it holds all the cables together. So we're going to show you how we actually do that for this. So here's our cabinet underneath the sink. What we want to do is put a baby proof lock on it so our little granddaughter can't get into the cabinet doors. What we're going to do first is take this baby lock. First we're going to place it where we want it to be placed. And then we're going to take this cover off just like that <laughs> and actually put this cover back on and slide it over onto where we would want to measure between the two cabinets and we're going to cut it off right there. Now before we stick the lock to the cabinet, we want to clean the area so the adhesive will stick. 
So we take an alcohol pad and clean the area. If you can get it out of the bag. <laughs> You're gonna clean the surface where you want it to stick. Okay, now you take the lock and make sure it's the right way where you want it to open. And we're gonna take the 3M backing off. And place it where you'd like to place it. And now we're gonna take the second half side and place it right behind here. First, we're gonna take the sticker off to place it. There we go, and our last step is we're gonna put the lock or the not the lock, but the other piece onto the safety side here. And push it in till it gets all the way and locks. Okay, now we're gonna try it and see if it works. So what you do is you push this little tab that way and open it up, and there you go, to open up the cabinet. All right, we're gonna try another different type of a baby lock. Uh, this one here is a unique one. We're going to be installing it here on this. Uh, this is something we built a while back. It stores all of our batteries. Uh, if you're interested in on how we do that, it's a charging station for our, or the batteries, I should say. If you're interested in that, we'll show you a link on that now. Now to show you how we're gonna be locking this because we don't want our granddaughter in here with all these wires and batteries in here. So here's how this one works. It's a little bit unusual than normal. This latch will be installed on the drawer itself and underneath on the inside will be a catch uh, so that when the drawer closes hopefully you can see this it'll run over this and it'll lock and it can't come back now what's unique about this is once this is on the other side it will use this as a key to unlock it what exactly is this it's a powerful magnet between the two of them if you take a look by putting up the magnet here the latch goes in and that allows you to open the drawer so i was concerned originally would this would be strong enough um, i mean is it too thick for it to work and will the battery work and in reality it does work fine so we're just going to go ahead and install this this looks like fun Because our home is a little bit smaller than uh, most, um, we're limited to the space of where our granddaughter can stay. So when she's sleeping, she'll be upstairs. We have a baby gate upstairs, but we're also going to need a baby gate on the downstairs because that's primarily where she'll be playing. And we want to make sure she doesn't go crawling up the stairs and get hurt. So we're going to do a second baby gate and we'll start working on that and we'll show you that next week. So until then, bye-bye.